Do, are you aware of the 300 billion naira CBN intervention fund for newly established man, uh, industries? Correct. Such that they can borrow for 15, I think it's a 10 billion naira for 15 years. Yes. Now, that is called the Real, Se the Real Sector Support Fund, ROSSF. The RSSF has a condition of 3% interest rate going to the central bank and 6% to the commercial bank. And they have a working capital you know, program of one year. Okay? And the CBN also have a monitoring you know, role on that fund when given to the commercial banks. And today, only recently, the CBN rolled out that 1.4 trillion has been issued out as intervention fund. When you release the intervention fund, and it is seated right inside CBN, that banks cannot assess it for the benefit of the customers. But then know, there is a challenge. But there was a challenge too. When they, they released those funds to the banks at the time, they said, look, com uh, they complained. Manufacturers complained that the banks were not letting them access these funds. And then CBN said, oh, fine, let's find another method through which you can access these funds. Now, there is no way the bank will not apply to CBN when the customer have not applied. Okay? It is only when the, the, CBN, the, the customer apply and the bank approach CBN and obtain the fund and they refuse to disburse. That is when there could be a challenge. But right now, the banks, all the applications, as far as we know, are piling up in CBN and the funds are not released. So you will prefer a situation where the funds are transferred to the banks. Of course. And then people apply to the banks. Of course. You see, the issue here is this. The, the commercial bank is the lender to the customer. And the central bank is the lender to the bank. Okay? A situation where you say there is 1.4 trillion intervention fund. Mm -hmm. Without telling us how much of that you have disbursed. It's a challenge. How much they've disbursed? Yes, you, 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 you came out and said we've given 1.4 trillion yeah, as intervention fund. They have not told us how much of that portion of fund they have disbursed through the commercial bank for onward lending to their customers. I thought it was when you get to the bank and apply, if the funds are not forthcoming, then you can raise more questions. But if you get to the bank and you access the fund, would you still require to know how much they've disbursed? No, 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 no. What I'm saying, sir, CBN rolled out a figure. If they rolled out a figure that we have, 1.4 trillion approved, 220 billion to SME, 300 billion to real sector support fund, 500 billion for non uh, non oil export, 217 billion to uh, power sector, and then 75 billion to NISA, which is the agri section, mm. and all of that fund is there. A CBN taking pain to tell the world or Nigerian entrepreneurs that. Out of this 1.4 trillion, XYZ amount had been disbursed, and it should impact to the economy. Mm. If you were to advise or suggest one policy, maybe not one, but at least for now one, that you think uh, the government can put in place to ensure that um, maybe, say, manufacturing gets back to its feet, what would it be? Excellent. Now, for manufacturing to play the impact required to grow the economy, we need one, the commercial banks to be made liquid enough to lend to entrepreneurs within their areas of operations, as it used to be many years ago. Would that be on a short term or a long term basis? Whether short term or long term, what happens right now is that the banks in Nigeria do not have loanable funds for manufacturing projects. And so if CBN is now to be playing the role of lending for manufacturing, it is the beginning of acceptability of the failure of the economy. The, the manufacturing sector, sector is failed, and today we need a pragmatic and dedicated and committed approach to revive the manufacturing sector. Pardon me to butt in. Let me just follow up on this one, because my colleagues tell me that, look, that the BOI says they've got funds sitting in there, but you don't have people who come up with, uh, sp who meet the specifications or requirements to access those funds. Excellent. If BOI is telling you that the imported formula uh, conditionalities for lending of America or uh, Asia without localizing the method of lending that will suit their own economy, which means they have failed in their own policy.
-hmm. Because you cannot have money and you don't know the dynamics of the people that you operate with to come to their level so that the fund you have can get to them, then you are not working in the climb that is conducive with the people that operate in your economy. I'm just a little curious, though. We've looked at how difficult it is to get funds to, you know, fuel manufacturing, as it were. But some people are still managing to manufacture in spite of the very difficult challenges. What about the demand side? Are people consuming the things that have been manufactured locally, from your yes, experience? Yes, I must tell you, mm -hmm. there is hardly any commodity that is manufactured in Nigeria that is not consumed. Nigeria is grossly undersupplied with even locally manufactured items. And that is why there is aggressive need for import to fill the gap. And we cannot, as we speak, as, you know, expect a rapid growth in the Nigerian economy until the next two and a half years. Because whatever application of funding that is being disbursed now, if you talk about six months for all of that to start coming, to commencing any project, taking about another six months to have these things well established, and then starting the project and seeing return will be another one year. So about two years, two and a half years before you start seeing significant positive impact on the growth of this economy. We are all going to go through difficult times until such time. And that is when the CBN and the commercial banks and state governors, not even federal government, sit back and say, hey, we, we, we are not looking at oil anymore. How do we assess funds to give to a real sector, not have political business people that have no business, you know, practical business on ground, not portfolio businessmen who would not have a land, do not have a place to show. This is where I want to put machineries to create manufacturing that will create the needed employment. Uh, Prince David Iweta, President, Sapala Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Interesting conversation. Thank you for coming on this morning. I appreciate it. Uh, maybe next time I will focus on the cement part of it. <laughs> not a problem. Thank you. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the show today. We thank you all for watching. We will be back tomorrow. I'm Chamberlain Usa. Thank you so much. I'm Maupe Ogun. Many thanks. I'm Suleiman. I'll let us see you again.